Welcome back. Here's a story that will warm your heart on this kind of cold day. A huge mission to save thousands of cold stunned sea turtles. And tonight, our Matt Stevens talked to some of the volunteers and park service workers all on the front lines. Right. Look at him fly. <laughs> if they could save them all, they surely would. There you go, buddy. For the hundreds of volunteers and for those who get paid, this all comes from the heart. And it can break your heart to see so many like this, stunned by the sudden cold. This was the perfect storm of cold stunning events. And this drop was so abrupt, they did not have time to flee to the few exit points that exist between the Laguna and the Gulf of Mexico. Brandon Upton of Cito Corpus Christi can't tell you how many turtles he's scooped from the icy waters and carried to his airboat, hundreds in the past few days for sure, and it never gets easier. It's, it's tough, you know, from, from a mental standpoint, the turtles suffering. The suffering is something they suffer through to get to the good part. I just can't wait to get them worn back up and get summer here and get them back at home. Probably pass a swim test right off and be ready to go back in the water. Those who know say about half will survive, half of maybe 8,000 found floating in the bays. We found six yesterday and they were all alive. Brenna Gordon and her sister Piper just wanted to help, just had to help. They would save them all if they could. We found him knocked out in some mud, so we ha but we thought he was dead, but he's alive. It's inspiring to me because I know at my age, I've got uh, more years behind me than in front of me, and we've got to get the next generation inspired and educated so that you can take over from us. You know, if you give this turtle a name, your mom will probably have to let you keep it. <laughs> His name is Jerry. On Padre Island, Matt Stevens, Chris Six News. There you have it. His name is Jerry. What an amazing effort there.